Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NFL action for week 14, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section right here, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So as you're getting down to the final few weeks of the NFL season, every game is pretty important as far as playoff positioning goes. So we're not going to take a look at every game, but we'll take a look at four of the games we feel are kind of the most important for the week. So we're going to get started here. Going to look down through here. See, it's a full slate of games. First one we want to look at. And you see there's the first five. And here's the next game, Minnesota and, and Detroit. We're not going to take a look at that one. Although that's a pretty interesting matchup in and of itself because it is a uh, divisional battle. But the first one we want to look at here is the Jets and the Bills. Another divisional battle, this one in the AFC East. The Bills come in burning hot, winners of the last three, and they're 4-2 over the last six. While the Jets are averaged down coming off of a loss, and they're 3-3 three three over the last six. You can see that um, Buffalo burning hot versus average down. And the odds are heavily in Buffalo's favor, 1.21 to 4.26, which translates into a line of 10.5 points with an over-under of 43.5. See here, Bills have an 81% chance of winning this contest, and the score prediction has Buffalo in a blowout by a 43-17 to 17 score, with about 66% level of confidence in the prediction. Take a look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that both teams on a slight upward trend, Buffalo at plus 27, while the Jets are now at plus 23. An interesting thing here, in the, under the recommendation and odds, it says there's a very high chance, 74%, you know, a tight game that might be decided by one goal. So take a look at that when you consider your pick. Um, the power ranks indicator, as we showed before, and now we're going to go down to the volatility oscillator. Two teams, how stable have they been? How consistent are they with regard to their favorite underdog status? You see Buffalo is at plus six. And more stable than the Bills, excuse me, more stable than the Jets, who are at plus one on the stability factor. Let's take a look at the movement in the line, if there has been a lot of movement. Uh, this is the money line for Buffalo. You see it opened up at uh, 1.23. It did move some to 1.204, and now it's back down. Well, actually, then it came back down to 1.23, and now it is currently at 1.21. So really not too much movement in the line. Still a heavy favorite for Buffalo, and I'm... Uh, heading that way as well with my pick. I like the Bills to win and cover in a game going over the line. I feel like the Eagles and New York Giants. The Eagles coming in at 11-1, the best record in the NFL. In, the, in this NFC East battle, they're coming in burning hot. And you can see here winners of their last three. Uh, and there are heavy odds on the road, 1.31 to 3.36 against the Giants who are average status at the moment. Uh, the line is 7.5 points in favor of Philadelphia with an over-under of 44.5. Eagles are given a 76% chance of winning this contest. You can see the Eagles have been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six. And if we take a look at the score predictor, Philadelphia 32, the Giants 17, with confidence in prediction of almost 79%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Philadelphia at plus 30, while the Giants have dipped to plus 20. And much like the last game that we looked at, it's a very high chance, 83%, in a tight game that will be decided by one goal. The volatility oscillator shows the Eagles as the most stable team in the NFL at plus 10, while the Giants have been very inconsistent at minus 1. In the end, I think the Eagles have just too much. They're playing good ball, obviously with an 11-1 record. I like the Eagles to win the cover in a game going over the line. Take a look here. The next contest we want to look at. You scroll down through. Tampa Bay and San Francisco. The 49ers have taken a hit with the loss of quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. So I know they've won their last five games. They're five and one over the last six, but that's going to make a huge difference in the game. They are still uh, home favorites of 1.51, 2.54, 2 over Tampa Bay. Uh, it's a three and a half point line with an over under 37.5. San Francisco given a 61% chance of winning this game. Uh, if you look at the over under, Tampa Bay has been involved in under the line five out of the last six. And they are three and three over the last six games. The score predictor has 49ers 37 17, 
I'm not agreeing with that. 72% level of confidence in the prediction. The way I'm looking at it here, and this is what's going to give me the indication as to which way I'm going to go as far as the bet goes. But first, take a look at the power ranks indicator. The power ranks indicator has the 49ers on upward trend at plus 24, while Tampa Bay is at plus 12. But take a look at the movement in the line here. Right here. Start at 1.41. We've got the sharp movement in the line here, right? Sharp movement, 1.719, which meant you know money coming in on Tampa Bay. Now that has leveled off somewhat, but it is still more in the favor of Tampa Bay, going trending more towards Tampa Bay at 1.51 compared to 1.41. I think without Jimmy Garoppolo in the lineup, uh, I like Tampa Bay on the road. I like the T Tampa Bay on the road to win, but I would pass on the over and under. And the last game we want to look at is Miami and the Los Angeles Chargers. Miami is coming in burning hot down, coming off of a loss, but they're still 5-1 over the last six games. And the Chargers are ice cold down 2-4 uh, and four over their last six games. Heavy favorites for Miami. Well, relatively heavy. 1.51 uh, to 2.542 because it's on the road to pretty pretty high margin of favoritism for uh Miami at 3.5 points, and the over under 52.5, and we have 59% chance of Miami winning this contest. You can see as far as the over under goes, Miami has been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six, while the Chargers have been involved over in three out of their last six. The score predictor has all Miami 40 to 16, with confidence in prediction a pretty high level of 76%. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Miami on the upward trend there at plus 29. While the Chargers are at plus 18. The stability factor, how consistent are they performing with regard to the favorite underdog status? Both of them are at six, so both of them are pretty consistent, pretty stable at this stage of the season. Any movements in the line? We can see um, some sharp movements in the line right here and right here, right? So it opened up at 1.8 for Miami and is now at 1.51. So Miami is a larger favorite now than they were when the line came out. I do like um, Miami in this one. I think Miami is clearly the better team. I like Miami to win and cover in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NFL for week 14. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.